Valley Mobile Home Park is officially closed. The property owners had two years to fix the park on Washington Avenue and make it livable again. But tonight, we've learned the state has revoked their mobile home and campground licenses. Fox 47's Rowan Belogan tells us what the city will do now that the state has taken action. The waiting game is over for people who live near the Life O'Reilly Trailer Park. It feels good to know that they're finally doing something with it. I mean, it's been sitting there for, what, two years, over two years now, so it's about time something ha is happening. Property owners had until June 18th to have the state health department and Department of Environmental Quality deem the property livable again, but they didn't. They've, they had time to do it, and now uh, we will take steps to do that, to get it cleaned up, and we'll give them the bill, but we're not, uh, we have the power to do that under certain circumstances, uh, and we do here. Mayor Bernero says the property has been an issue he's wanted to deal with for years, but couldn't. But now that the state has revoked the owner's licenses, the city has the green light to step in. We're prepared to go to court either today or tomorrow, get the order, go in, clean it up, um, give the neighbors some relief. And uh, so today marks a new chapter for the life of Riley. Lansing filed two complaints against the property Monday. The first would label Life O'Reilly a public nuisance. The second would make sure the owners can't bar the city from the property. Lansing doesn't have to go through the courts for that, but a shaky relationship with the owners warrants it. We can expect some, some challenges uh, in terms of given the track record uh, and the history, um, trying to get the, the ownership to do the right thing to comply. That's all we ask. We didn't ask if anything beyond what they wanted to be in business to do. The city and neighbors are now finally at ease to know the life O'Reilly is permanently closed. In Lansing, Rowan Belogan, Fox 47 News. If the city is allowed on the property, it will check the conditions of every building to determine what has to be torn down. It will take bids from construction companies to clear the park, and we will let you know what happens.